Hey guys, I'm Manny Chopra and today's tip of my day, I've actually got a special guest with me, uh, Romy Chopra here. And today I'm going to pick his brain on saving money on utility bills. Uh, as a HMO landlord, we are really feeling the pinch. Uh, energy bills, as everybody knows, has gone through the roof. So I just want to tell you a little bit more about what we are doing currently and looking into options to save bills. So firstly, welcome Romy. Hi everyone. So Romy, tell us a little bit about some of the options that you're exploring to help us reduce or even maybe stabilize some of these energy costs which are never ending. So one of the things I'm looking at is um, most, most of our HMOs are gas central heated, uh, predominantly with mega flow tanks and systems. So what you're familiar with is radiators have something called a thermostatic valve, which is basically something you control manually. They're now, now being, uh, they're now on the market smart digital valves. The good thing about that is that you can then remotely control the heat that's generated from the radiators throughout the house. So the, what you're finding is that when you're heating a house, you may only have three people in the house, but you're having to heat six rooms, but you only need to effectively heat three out of the six. So that way you could shut off the three where the, maybe the tenants have gone away on holiday. So effectively that's one way of reducing it. So it's a very smart, it's called a smart system. So I think the key thing to remember is that there's a lot of technology out there, um, and I think a lot of that now needs to be utilised. Is in... that just for the gas, or can you use that for electricity? So well? with electric, electric's a little bit more um, tricky, but what I think with electric is that appliances now are now becoming more and more efficient. But one of the things I'm going to be doing is looking at monitoring the electrical uh, usage in a house. So there's a device where you've got your consumer unit, you can connect into the consumer unit through the cables, and there's a little monitor which works out the usage during sort of the daytime, the weekends, but month on month, you can work out the actual sort of, you know, a very accurate usage on that property. And then it may be, maybe, maybe things like, you know, you find that your, your dryers and washing machines, which are particularly large energy consumer uh, items, uh, and it sort of gives you that monitoring. So I think, and then- but Once from, you monitor how do you then go about? Well, I think there's different ways you can do it. Then you look at seeing now, for example, with dryers, there's something called, um, there's, I'm just talking to somebody, there's air source dryers now, which work on a different technology, reduce the electricity by 50%. So I'm now, I think the key thing to remember in this whole discussion is that smart technology is going to become a key thing. So if you want to save energy, you want to save your bills, whether it's gas or electric, generally those are the two most variable ones and the ones that some people are suffering from at the moment then to take advantage of, there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm doing a lot of research on it now. I think it'd be great also at some point to do a talk at one of the Titans events, because yeah. I know a lot of people are very interested in the smart technology, maybe get some of the experts to come in and talk about how it's done. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be trialing it. I'm going to try it on a pilot on one or two of our properties and just run it for about three or four months and just get to see how much of an impact it's actually having on, on our bills. And, uh, but I think the key, yeah, but there's no question in my mind, you know, whether it's, P and I'm also looking at, uh, PV panels, uh, solar panels. Uh, there are schemes which are out there if you have, so because HMOs are deemed semi-commercial, there is a scheme out there where you might get 25% grant from the government to put PV panels. Now, you know, and where you could have a battery set up where the, all, this, all the energy is generated from the PV panels are stored in a battery, and then you can drip feed it depending on when the use of the property is needed. That's gonna also happen. And then what you don't use, you can sell back to the grid. So there's that option as well. Obviously, there's initial on cost, but I've worked out. You know, as you know, we're going to be doing it in our own house potentially. So it's it's available on domestic properties. Uh, but the the good thing is with uh, with the HMOs because they're deemed as semi commercial. I'm looking into it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm uh, certainly with anything that's deemed 100% commercial is definitely uh, available. I've got Care Home. I'm going to be doing it on that recent uh, fairly soon because that's a big energy uh, consumer. Um, PV is the way to go because it's the one that's going to get you your EPC ratings down massively. It's a big one. And I think certainly over a two or three year, you've got a great pay payback period in terms of getting the, because the energy prices are just going to go up. They're not going to go down anytime soon. Well, I think you've given us a lot to think about, a lot to research into. And guys, so get researching, but also come along to our Titans events, which run every second Thursday at the Jared's Cross Crown Plaza. We had a bit of a summer break. Uh, and we are now back on Thursday, the 8th of September. Romy will be there. There'll be other people in the room who are also in the know and who are also implementing some of these systems. Uh, 
that's definitely our top of our agenda right now. Yeah. We're not even active looking at deals right now because we're literally trying to focus think, on getting yeah. our costs uh, in, in order. I think, yeah, I think cost cost has got to be a, a, a key priority for, a, for us. And I think, I think, as you all know, October is going to be another hike in energy prices. There's talk about 20%, 30%, there's some sort of crazy numbers going about. So I think it's action's got to be taken now for sure. Exactly. So guys, do have a look at our website, teamtitans.co.uk. Romy, thank you very much for your my time. Pleasure. I know you're a super busy man, oh but hope you enjoyed the tip of the day and more to follow in my next video. Thank you.